Hi there, welcome to step number four of this course. At the moment we have a fantastic looking website and now we are going to add a web analytics to it. This is really important because it's a way that you can analyze the traffic that comes into your website. You can see if people are coming from Twitter, Facebook, Google and also see the kind of keywords that people are actually using. So for this we are going to use Clicky. In this first video I'm going to show to you how to install it in, in my next one, I'm going to give you just a brief overview so you can get a better idea of how exactly you can use it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to clicky.com and get an account with them. So once you come to their website, just press register now. Okay, so now I'm going to just fill this information really quickly. So you need to put your email address, your real name, also choose the username, can be this one, password, and also choose the language that you want to use. In this case, I'm just going to keep it English, and below put your domain name. So I'm just going to copy it, and just paste it over here, and delete this HTTP that appears. Okay, so once this is done, just press register. And now you need to have some extra information. So you can choose the time format, which I'm going to do, the time zone, which is for me is this one. Set the alignment to the center and site width. Okay, so once you have this information, just press submit. And they show you this tracking code that you can actually have to your website so you can start analyzing the traffic that comes into your website. Anyway, there is an easier way to actually do this. So I'm going to show to you how you can do it. You need to go once again back to your WordPress website. And we are going to add a new plugin that will allow us to connect our WordPress website to our Clicky account so we can start tracking the traffic that comes in. So you go to your back office, to your plugins, and just add new. You want to search for Clicky. So just press Clicky and press search. And the plugin that we want is called Clicky by Host. So I'm just going to install now and activate it. Okay, activate plugin. And now you need to go to settings. And you can see that you have this section called Clicky. So just go over here. Okay, so you can see now that they ask for your site ID, your site key, and your administrator site key. For you to get this information, you need to go once again back to your Clicky account. And you can see over here this small link that says info. So just click on it. Once you click on it, they give you your site information. So you can see over here your site ID. So just select it, copy, and just paste it on your site. Just like that. And make sure to delete the spaces that appear. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other. In this case, site key. And now administrator site key. Okay, so once this is done, the standard configuration is pretty much all that you need and you just need to press update clicky settings. And after a few hours or after probably 24 hours, you will be able to start tracking the people that come into your website. It's really that simple. So that is all for this video. If you have any question, once again, just leave it below. I will try to reply as soon as possible. So that is all for now. Stay tuned with Pro Sectorials and bye.